guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte. Hello, I make videos. I make a lot of videos. I make Disney videos. I make vlog videos. Vlog videos? What am I even talking about? But I went to Walt Disney World in November and I did a little shopping. So I'm going to show you what I bought. This is my Disney World haul. I'm sorry, I'm not on my chair properly, which is why I'm... Now, I'm going to pre-warn you before you start this video. I spent a little bit of money so strap in there are some great pieces in this haul that I absolutely love and I can't wait to finally be able to use them and wear them because they've been sitting in a bag since I got back from holiday two and a half weeks ago so we are going to jump straight in let's address it let's address it right now the first thing that I bought and you guys have seen all over my Instagram if you follow me is this jacket which I might keep on for the duration of the video because it is so snug, it's so cozy. Everyone keeps asking me on Instagram, where did you get your, uh, where did you get dressing gown from? It's not a dressing gown guys, it's a jacket. And it's this plaid jacket. And I'm gonna insert a photo of me wearing it so you can see it better because I am aware that this is not a great angle for you guys to see it in. Uh, I know it doesn't go with my top either. Oh, so I'm wearing a Disneyland top, controversially. Wrong park, but. I really, really love this jacket. It's so warm. It was actually quite cold when we were in Florida. I say quite cold. Adam says I'm overreacting. But I had to buy this because I was cold. And I saw it in Hollywood Studios and I was like, I need this in my life. So I got it. I'm so happy I did. It's got pockets. It's warm and cozy. And I've been wearing it non-stop since I got back to the UK. And I wore it non-stop in Florida as well. If you look at my Instagram, you can just see me in it almost every day in Florida because it was really cold. Adam said it wasn't it was okay the first things I'm going to show you are actually from character warehouse so if you're not aware there is a shop called character warehouse and it's located the one that I went to is located at the premium outlet so it's not on Disney property and it's basically where Disney send all the things that they can't sell in the parks like the season after so you can pick up some amazing bargains there you have to go early in the morning my friends went at two o'clock and they were like there was nothing left i was there like half an hour after it opened there was a queue around the block because it can get very busy and i think we queued inside for about two no about an hour to get to the till no maybe about 45 minutes maybe an hour actually so i picked up some amazing bargains though the first things i got were these ears so in the parks ears are 30 dollars 7.99 i mean it was so the price was so good I bought three sets of ears. I also bought the Halloween ears for next year, just because I wanted them because they're cute. Four ninety nine, so seven ninety nine and four ninety nine. Honestly, what a bargain! Three pairs of ears for basically twenty dollars, like a bit more than twenty dollars, but with the tax. But incredible bargains, incredible. Next, I bought myself a new phone case. I haven't put it on my ca on my phone yet, but it is the Where Dreams Come True phone case and it's a straight head if you've been to Disney World before you'll know that all of the road signs on property are laid out on this purple with the red and the green and it differentiates when you're on Disney property to when you're off Disney property because when you're off Disney property all of the road signs are just green so I picked this up I can't remember how much it was I think it was about ten dollars but I wanted a new phone case and this is perfect because I love Everyone who's been to Disney, you get that feeling, don't you, when you see these road signs. You're like, oh, I'm here, I'm home. And yeah, $10, bargain. They also sell a lot of the Alex and Annie. There's actually, when you go to the desk, it's all kept behind the cashier desk, but there's like a, they have like a, a display unit that you can ask to see and they'll bring it over to you. So I picked up a few new Alex and Annie bracelets, my first ones actually, and one of them was a classic that I've wanted for ages, and I'll bring it closer so you can see, but it is this Epcot Alex and Annie. Uh, it's got uh, Spaceship Earth on the tag, which I absolutely love. I couldn't leave this one behind. It is the Tree of Life, and this is a silver one. Obviously that one's gold. This is a silver one. They are beautiful bracelets, and they were, meant to be $40 but I think I paid a lot less than that or maybe they were more than 40 and I paid 40 the price tag says $40 on the back but maybe they were a little bit less um, but I'm just so happy with these I've wanted Alex and Annie for so long and when I saw them I was like 
yes, I need them in my life. They also sell, like, the button. Well, they have loads of different things. Like, what I'm showing you now, they won't have when you go. Like, it's completely different. Depends on what stock they get. But I also picked up the buttons that were looking for more thingamabobs. And here, for all the rose gold. And these are supposed to be $9.99. And so, I think I paid $2 for them. So, actually, those Alex and Annie can't have been $40 each. They must have been cheaper. So, honestly, if you have time to go down, grab an Uber, go down to the premium outlets, go down to uh, Vineland Outfits, Outfits, Outlets, and go and check out Character Warehouse, but do it first thing in the morning before it opens. Sometimes there's loads of stuff, and sometimes I've walked out of there before without buying stuff, so you just have to be like really choosy. Oh, actually, no, I have one more thing to show you um, that I got from the outlets, and it was... The Halloween spirit jersey. Look how sparkly it is. So again, this is something that I'll put away and I won't have to buy a spirit jersey for Halloween next year. And this was down to $24.99. So we all know spirit jerseys in the park, so around $60 to $70, $24.99. Just because I bought it a little late and I can't wear it this year. But I mean, I'll wear a Halloween spirit jersey all year, I don't care. And this is the only spirit jersey I bought all trip. $24.99, absolute bargain. Go to Character Warehouse. It's all official Disney stuff as well. Like it's literally where Disney send their stuff, their Disney cast members in the store. Um, they're employed by Disney. It's legit. While we were there, it was Mickey Mouse's birthday. So I got my happy birthday, Mickey, 2019. 91 years young. I actually got two. They were giving them out all the parks on his birthday. So I have two of those. I also, we stayed at the beach club, which I might even do a separate video on how amazing beach club is. So there'll definitely be a blog post on it. It was incredible, but we obviously had the dining plan. We picked up our free mugs and we went for the happy, well, I went for the happy holidays mug. Adam has a Buzz Lightyear one, I think. And we were literally filling them up one day and a woman came up to Adam and was like, where did you get that mug? It was this one. He was like, where? She was like, where'd you get it? And he was like, behind the counter. And she was like, oh, I need a holidays mug. And these are so good for drinks, uh, hot drinks and cold drinks, but don't put your coffee in them because the coffee, we found, stains them. And, um, sometimes makes all your drinks after taste a little bit coffee like shall we say but yeah so picked up that you can buy these from the parks as well buy these from the hotels as well um and they're refillable you can use the machine for the duration of your stay and then also from beach club i have a disney tradition of every time i stay in a disney hotel i pick up the pin for that hotel the beach club pin has my princess on as well my girl ariel uh, it's there's Beach Club Resort on it and it's got Ariel so I always pick up the pin for my resort so that was about nine dollars I think and then more pins so we went to the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party the first time I've been I loved it I think I still prefer Not So Scary I'm gonna be completely honest but I loved Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party you got cookies you got hot chocolate there was lots of snacks there was characters out in rare costumes we met the seven dwarfs in there uh, Christmas outfits, Belle, Belle in the enchanted Christmas dress, oh my god, like I was, I uh, need to meet her, um, but I got the pin, there's quite a few pins on sale actually, um, so I, I'm not sure which one this is, it was just the one that I picked up, but it's the limited release uh, 2019 Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party Pin, they only sell it on party nights, so if you are looking for these pins, you have to go to the party to get them. We might as well stick with pins, there's one more, I like to pick up like a pin memento from my time there that's not hotel or like party related and I just saw this beautiful Walt Disney World and you can't see it I'm gonna bring this way closer and it's just Mickey and the castle and it's so simple and so lovely and I just thought this is gonna be my my last pin I normally I buy a lot of pins so I thought I was quite restrained I was meant to get a Magic Kingdom pin but completely forgot so oh well staying with the dainty stuff so there'll be a lot of close-ups in this section i bought myself the best earrings but i love them they are the disney parts collection earrings and they are mini ears and again it's something i'm gonna have to bring closer for you but they are mini ears i cannot wait to wear these i might even wear them to work tomorrow because now i've done this haul i can start wearing all this stuff it's going to be great but i loved these so i had to have them and i really wanted a new ring and i have two i wear two rings daily and they're both pandora and this one is a park it was a parks exclusive i don't know if it still is a park i think it is or maybe it was one i don't know anyway it was a mini bow and i wanted a little mickey to go with it but i didn't really like the pandora one so um i went for this one it, it's quite cheap actually it was 19.99 so a lot cheaper than these ones are and the crystals are swasky swasky so yeah i you can try them on i got this from world of disney 
and it fits perfectly on the finger that I wanted to go on. So I'm very lucky. Well, not very lucky. I picked the right size. That's not luck. That's skill. But I've got a new ring. So I can wear two rings on this hand now and one ring on this hand. <laughs> Uh, the beach club as well there was a little stand that I was open from five till nine every night selling hot chocolate and it was selling pins for the carousel because they have the gingerbread carousel in beach club and it had lots of little goodies as well and it also had this paint your own cookie now I'm amazed I got this back to the UK in pretty much one piece I've just noticed a little bit of icing's fallen off here and it's cracked at the top but these are paint your own so you just wet the colors and it comes with a paintbrush and you can paint the mickey and then you can eat the cookie i'm not gonna lie guys when i bought this i was like oh i'm gonna do this over christmas i'm probably just gonna eat the cookie that is, is that simple no maybe i'll paint it maybe i'll paint it one night next week in vlogmas but i the novelty was great it was about 11 dollars. it wasn't included in the dining plan it's gonna be worth every bite now, like I mentioned, it was quite cold, so I had to buy this, but I also bought this hoodie, and to be fair, I have this in t-shirt form for Disneyland, and I just needed the Walt Disney World one, and it's the Walt Disney World retro hoodie, and I wore it while I was over there, and I'm obsessed with this print. Like I said, I have the Disneyland t-shirt version here. This is just the Disney World version, but in hoodie format, and they do do it in t-shirt format as well, but it's so cozy and so nice, and I got it from World of Disney and I have no regrets. And I will wear this a lot. I'm, like I keep saying, I might wear this to work tomorrow. I might wear this to work tomorrow. I'm not, I'm probably not gonna wear it to work tomorrow, but I will wear it at some point for work. But it's so cozy inside. It's a perfect like Sunday hoodie, perfect hoodie for when it's a little bit cold. Yeah, I'm here for it. And I am looking forward to wearing that on Sunday. A lot of what I got actually was clothing this year. and. Again, I was really loving like the retro vibes like that the parks are going with at the moment. And so I picked up this jumper and they also sold this in a coral and a, like a baby blue. And I think there was another colour as well. But it's this Mickey Mouse jumper with um, Mickey on. Mickey Mouse jumper with Mickey on. I mean, who'd have, thought, who'd have thunk it? And it's like this distressed kind of looking purple fabric. I'm obsessed. I think I might wear it to work tomorrow. No, I can't, I'm gonna stop saying that now, seriously. But I love it. I, I, like I said, I just love the retro vibes that Walt Disney World are going for at the moment. Which leads me on to my next piece, which is this Mickey Mouse Club t-shirt. Also very 80s or 90s. Love it, needs an iron. So sorry about that, it's been screwed up in a bag. But uh, yeah, obsessed. It actually comes with a thing at the bottom so you can make it like a crop top. I'm probably not gonna do that, to be honest. But absolutely love it love like the t-shirt edges like the uh, sleeve edges it's all very retro very mickey very mickey mouse club love it and this was um just for context let's have a look for the label is there a label it was 34.99 this t-shirt and the jumper the purple jumper was 49.99 and i think the hoodie was a around the same price as well so a lot of my money did go on clothing this year because I'm a, I'm not really a collector of like Disney things I, I love wearing Disney clothing so I'm that chilled Disney clothing person but also the person that a few vlogs ago said that she needed to stop buying Disney clothes so that's it now I'm done now for a while like I feel like I got everything I wanted everything I needed and I'm done like buying Disney clothes for a while apart from these three more pieces of Disney clothes that I bought so I loved this jacket so much and I love the print and I love the lumberjack that I bought and I saw quite a few people wearing this actually and the more I saw it around the parks I was like I need this in my life right now and it is this Mickey's Main Street Tree Farm Christmas plaid shirt and guys I am obsessed this is gonna look so good at Christmas I might even have a picture of it I'm itchy, she knows I might even have a picture of it in front of my Christmas tree with my Christmas farm on the back Christmas tree farm on the back but look at this print can't see me anymore but look look at this print on the back and it is so cozy and just so cool I mean I don't I really don't think I'm cool enough to pull this off to be honest but I'm gonna give it a good go <laughs> and uh, I got the large because it actually came up quite small I, in everything else I'm a medium um, but I got the large in this because 
doing it up like around here. I'm just looking for the price tag for you. Honestly, Disney World had so much good stuff this time. I mean, I, my bank account was crying by the end. Uh, $59.99. So these are quite expensive. I do find that the quality is good and I get a lot of wear out of them, which means like cost per wear goes down. I mean, my suitcase was seven kilograms over on the way back, but we won't talk about that. I blame the Bath and Body Works candles for that one. I also, oh, I say I didn't pick up a three Again, I just got cold and panic bought this a little bit, to be honest. But I'm kind of glad that I did, because I had some, got some really cool photos in it. But I ummed and ahed over this spirit jersey for a while, because it was available at um, Shop Disney for ages, and I really regretted not getting it. And then when I was cold one day, I was like, I'm just going to get a spirit jersey. And then when I was looking at spirit jerseys, I was like, hmm which one to get and then I saw this one I was like oh, I'm just gonna take the plunge I'm just gonna do it and it's the Buzz Lightyear one I mean this is a Sunday spirit jersey for full shower although one of my colleagues had this on at work this day and I was like oh I can wear it to work so yeah it says Space Ranger it looks like your Buzz Lightyear at the front I'm here for it I need to get it washed actually because I did wear this I'm gonna insert a picture of me wearing it in front of Buzz Lightyear, I was at Toy Story Land when I bought it, and no regrets. No regrets at all. And then the final piece of clothing that I bought was this t-shirt that, again, I had seen a few people wearing and was like, hmm, I really like that. And they do a t-shirt deal. I mean, I didn't take advantage of the deal. No, I did actually. I think my mum got a t-shirt, and it's like two, when you buy two t-shirts, they become $20 each rather than like 22 or 24 and it's this Walt Disney World where dreams come true t-shirt and I, I just loved it from the moment I saw it I was like I need that t-shirt in my life and I bought it and it's got Mickey and Minnie on and it's got the Walt Disney World sign on I think you you guys will like I think you'll have if you're new to this channel you'll have got my Disney vibe from what I've bought like I really love like hook line and sinker I'm in for retro Disney like sign me up reel me in, take my money, I need retro Disney, and I think I hit all those, <laughs> I think I hit it all, this is so cute and so cool, and I just love it, and I can't wait to style this up with some more pieces to make it a bit more casual, and wear it in the UK, I'm living. Do you know what, I only have four more things, four more things to show, five more things to show you, first one is this bag this was actually a purchase with purchase oh my god i've got breakables on my lap maybe i should have showed you those first this was actually a purchase with purchase i'm just getting all of my hair off it lovely and when you spent like 40 pound you could get this bag for 25 and actually it made perfect hand luggage on the way home well extra hand luggage because i had a backpack and then i put all of my snacks in this bag to carry home and British Airways didn't even bat an eyelid, to be honest, because I'd already paid the $100 fee for an overweight bag. So, yeah, this was cute, and it's, I'm going to make a really good shopping bag. It's actually really big and fits loads in. Like, you know I'm just going to put these breakables down one second. Yeah, it's so, like, big. I use it to carry, if you're watching my Vlogmas, I use it to carry my advent calendars around. They fit, both fit in quite comfortably. Look, I mean, look, it's massive. So, I am a sucker for a purchase with purchase as well, and I took the plug and got it and I think my auntie actually bought something and I was like oh I really want that bag like can I add it on to the um, and then paid her for it so yes right let's do the breakables so I don't know which order these are going to come out in and even if they survived oh oh it did survive oh good I'm going to have to be really careful with this one so I bought a new Christmas ornament because we always buy a new one and Adam actually picked this one uh, clear Mickey head with gold, red and green on it but the gold glitter that you can see does come off and there's a, quite a bit of it so I'm going to just wrap this really carefully so it doesn't get ruined every year going in and out of um, storage at Christmas but I'm going to hang this back on the tree when we go, when I go back to Birmingham before Christmas. It's $27 so it, yeah it's cute, I really like it. I'd like to buy one Christmas decoration a year just to be like hey this was this reminds me of my trip and I can tell you which which trip all my Christmas decorations are bought on and it's just very special. My other breakable, I mean I, I, I know you guys what you're going to say, I don't drink tea or coffee <laughs> but I saw this mug and I was like it's very festive, I need it and it's part of the Christmas range for uh, 2019, right so it's this Christmas mug and it uh, says joy on the back. And this is the design this year for like the Christmas crockery at Walt Disney World. And it's Mickey and Minnie with their little candy canes making a heart. 
and I mean it's a good sized mug and it's got Mickey and the tree farm see it's all fitting together now all the plaid the plaid the plaid the tree farm the tree farm it's all it's all fixing together quite nicely so yeah I think I'm gonna have my festive hot I'm not I'm not a tea or coffee drinker but I am a hot chocolate drinker so I'm gonna have a festive hot chocolate in this mug at some point this Christmas and the mug was $13 this was my one mug I buy one mug I buy one Christmas decoration and a shitload of clothing apparently <laughs> before I move on well you got a sneak preview then before I move on to the food items I got I want to show you this I bought myself an advent calendar not sure why because I knew I would have advent calendars here but I was sucked in guys they do a sock advent calendar for adults size 4 to 10 that's me and you get a different pair of socks every day and there's they actually it kind of spoils it a little bit because it tells you the socks you get but it doesn't tell you what's on them so you get crew socks low cut socks low cut crew crew I mean I'm here for it but there's only 12 days I was a little bit fuming after I realized this after I bought it no I think I did but actually remember I think I did figure it out before I bought it and I was like oh, I'll have it anyway <laughs> don't know which is worse I decided I'm gonna open start opening this on day 13 so I get a different pair of socks every day until Christmas Day look how cute it is are you surprised I was sucked in because I'm absolutely not it's just got the cutest designs on, like gingerbread Mickey. It's basically covered in Disney snacks. So I'm hoping that the snot, the snocks, I'm hoping that the socks are snack related. I will, it will be sock goals for me. Sock goals. And God, I really just hope it's holiday socks. And I'm going to wear them every day that I open them, if I'm wearing socks that day. Because if I'm wearing tights, I don't need to. But if I'm wearing socks, I'm wearing these every day between now and the 25th of December. It's another advent calendar for me to carry around the country. Okay, that was all my non-perishables. I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything lying around where I, I bought it and I've used it and then forgot to put it back. No, I didn't, I bought it, no. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, so those were my non-perishables. This is my bag of snacks. I mean, you can see the strain on this bag, but we had the dining plan. We had 30 snacks left at the end. I'm gonna show you how we left Disney with our dining plan. We're very proud of it. We used all our table service, all our quick service, and all of our snacks. Nothing wasted. And I bought home quite a lot of these um, Mickey sweet treats. They go off really soon, so I'm gonna have to eat them. But I bought home quite a few of the kind of Rice Krispie treats from the stores as well like I have that I'm gonna eat that later that is actually what I'm eating tonight as my little treat for the day and um, what else did we get oh we've got a Christmas cookie as well the wow well, these all go off within a week so me and Adam are gonna be eating a lot of this weekend we bought Christmas pretzels which I'm very excited about eating not gonna lie these were on the dining plan we had to pay for these but I think my auntie bought them I sh actually should probably clarify as well. I just remembered. My mom bought me the Beach Club pin and my auntie bought me the Mickey Mouse pin as just a thank you for organising the trip. So I actually didn't buy those my own money. I mean, $20. I mean, I have a lot, but I didn't buy those my own money. Adam's coming the weekend, so we're going to snack our way through these as well, which is great. These are actually valid until September 20, so I've actually got a bit longer to eat these. Uh, so maybe I won't be eating them this weekend. I've got too much Rice Krispie Treat to eat. What else have we got? Oh, I bought mini biscuits. I love these. I've already eaten a box of those when I was poorly. I mean, they tasted great. I made me feel a lot better, and then I threw them up, but you don't need to know that. We're too late. Another Mickey. More Rice Krispie Treats. We've got the cookies from the party there's so much sweet stuff in this bag i just can't believe it oh rainbow mickey rice crispy when does that expire oh i've got till may no i've got till january to eat that one so that one will be in there we just bought a, we just had a lot i mean we didn't buy these we didn't pay for them which is great oh this is valid to the end of the year excellent that can go later on the list use your snacks i think is what i'm trying to tell you I mean look this is not even all of it but i'm gonna stop now there's just so much I, I need to just start eating these to be quite honest i'm gonna start eating them i mean not right now but i'm gonna have my dinner first and then i'm gonna start <laughs> so yeah so i think we did really well actually um we got some stuff that we really like loved adam picked up a few pieces my mom and my aunt picked up a few pieces but I don't think I went majorly overboard. I mean, it may seem, it does seem like it a little bit, especially when I was packing it. I was like, oh, I bought a lot of stuff. But it's all stuff that I will wear 
constantly. I get my money's worth out of them. And do you know what? I saved this holiday for a very long time, like over nearly two years. So I'm really, really pleased with what I got. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope I've given you some Disney inspiration. A lot of this stuff, um, some of it was seasonal, so you might not be able to get if you're going in the future but some of it is has been around for a while and will probably continue to be around as well so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video the vlogs are coming i feel like i should caveat the end of this video with that the vlogs are coming once vlogmas is finished there's going to be a whole host of uh, disney vlogs for you which i'm so excited to start editing honestly cannot wait so i will see you all very soon please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i don't know why i do that why do I go thumbs up? Please give it a thumbs up. Like you don't know what a thumbs up is. Uh, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.